Hey all, welcome to Parker's Reefs. On today's episode, we're gonna review this new light on the market. It's a Aquanest Aqua Plus M8. Bit of a mouthful, but hopefully a cool light. All right, so a little while ago when we were putting lights on the Idiot Proof Reef Tank, I went with something as simple as possible. And in the end, I went with the Kessel light there. The uh, smallest one there, little um, 880 from memory, I think it was. Um, basically because there were no, no decisions to make regarding the different channels of light. Um, I even just put it on a timer rather than getting the controller. So you dial in the brightness you want, you dial in the color you want, put it on a timer for eight hours a day or 10 hours a day or 12 hours a day, whatever you want, set and forget you're done. Now, for that purpose, that light was perfect. Um, it wasn't too strong, it couldn't overpower corals in the tank, and you couldn't really make wrong decisions regarding the spectrum. That did come with a downside, of course, in that you couldn't really play with other things that much. You couldn't put a bit of extra green in the channel if you wanted to, or bump the UV right up. You just had that Kessel logic in there, which is fine. It's working really well on that light. But I got a bit of feedback from that uh, video saying that the, whilst a lot of people are following the Idiot Proof Reef Tank series, um, I shouldn't say they are idiots, but are beginners. But uh, there are a lot of people that are not beginners that are just looking at setting up a little nano and they are, were asking a lot of questions about what other lights could we run? Uh, should we go something like a Radian? Should we go an AI Hydra? Should we go the bigger Kessel? Should we go, you name it, all sorts of options out there. Um, and of course, everyone always wants to keep to a budget. So the guys at uh, Aquanest or NV Aqua um, is the distributor in Australia sent me this light to review. Now, full disclosure, they did send me this light to review. I have not purchased it. However, a little secret for you guys watching, I'm giving this light away. So um, if you follow through the video and find out what you need to do, this light could be yours. But um, yeah, this light was given to me and they sent it to me to say they, they think this is the perfect step up um, for the next, to get that idiot proof reef tank up to something that can absolutely grow SBS or any type of coral in there without any problems whatsoever and should, without any question, feed the appetite of the non-idiot reefer, the next level up, the someone that wants to dial in and tweak the colors and set their spectrums and have lightnings and thunderstorms, all that jazz. So I figured, let's open up this uh, light. I've been using it now. Um, I, I've, I've reboxed it so I can do the boxing now, but uh, I've been using this light on uh, a couple of different tanks for a couple of months now. And I must admit, I was gonna try and do a really long-term review so I could show you the coral growth and things like that. But the guys at NV Aqua have got a crazy sale running on these up to Christmas. So I didn't really want to wait till after Christmas to say, oh, you could have got them at half price because retail on these lights is $300, but leading up to Christmas, you can get them for 150 bucks each. Now that includes the light, the power supply, the bracket. Um, you don't need a controller. It comes with a free app, everything you need and we'll do a decent size light. But anyway, Enough uh, talking of without unboxing it, let's get this box open. You can see you get some instructions and I must admit this is a fairly complex light. So the instructions normally I just go like that and I have this time and they've gone over the couch but that's all right. You should hang on to the instructions. Aquanest uh, do have a good range of videos on their website which will take you through the setup but I would always keep those instructions handy. Next up, we've got a couple of different bracket options. Um, we've got, if I can work out which way these go, you've got a short bracket and a large bracket. The short bracket can just mount your light. You can hang it by cables, you can do whatever you need to do, or you can have the large bracket will actually mount to the tank itself. You've also got your wire hanging kit. I'll get some close-up footage of this all so you don't, um, don't miss it. You get an Australian power pack, very important. You get... The light itself. Now, this is the light here. For those uh, who are playing at home, you may realize this has got a little bit of a, particularly the light cluster. It's definitely got some relations to a um, AI Prime. Now, when I say relations, it's taken some, um, some uh, creative inspiration, let's call it, from AI Primes, but there are a few differences. First of all, you actually have this uh, touch screen on the front here. It's got some buttons and it's got a little display so you can see what the light is doing without having to open up your app. And you can actually program a control through here. Personally, I find that a little bit difficult, but if you need to make a quick change, you can. Um, the second thing is it's got this, um, it's really hard to describe, but it's got this soft touch to it. Um, the plastic has kind of a rubbery feel to it. Um, like I said, very hard to describe, but uh, it's, it's got this cool feel to it. 
Um, other than that, it's a pretty small light. It does have this uh, sort of aerodynamic look to it. Not that that's really that important, but if you're going to hang these up above your tank, you want it to look good. Um, and these matte black soft touch uh, fitting with uh, subtle logos, nice air vents, they look pretty good. Um, other than that, we get the rest of the brackets and that's it from the box. So I figure I'll get some close-up footage of this light here and then I'll uh, set it up on the Idiot Proof Reef Tank just to show you the operation through the app, um, show you how responsive it is because the Wi-Fi connectivity, um, like I said, I've actually had this light uh, running for a little while now, is super responsive. The uh, schedule, the spectrum of colors you get to pick from is really impressive. So uh, let's get into it. All right, I just thought I should quickly explain uh, how some of the bracketing works. You get uh, this U-channel piece here, which you can uh, screw in here. Uh, that has uh, this rubber piece here, which goes in there, which means you can tighten this up against uh, the uh, rim of your tank. That then gives you a beautiful piece to uh, bring the uh, light along and uh, screw the light onto there. And that gives you your 90 degree angle, as you can hopefully see there. That also gives you the ability to adjust that in that way or out that way. And also by loosening uh, the screws on the back here, you can also raise and lower. So if you wanted to have the light really close to your tank, in fact, we'll bring it all the way down. You could mount it something like that, um, which is obviously gonna be a lot closer. If you wanted to, you could possibly cut the excess off, but that'll run on the outside of your tank anyway. No big deal. And same, you can make that as narrow as that, or as short as that, as I should say. I don't know why you'd want it that close to the uh, surface of the water. But uh, if you did, you can. And conversely, you can extend that right out to get you further away from the uh, back of the tank and also then higher up from the tank. So the included mounting arms, actually, uh, it's pretty nifty. It also has this extra hole here to run the, uh, the cable through, which is pretty cool. So it fits through nicely just to keep all your cabling tidy. It's a really nice mounting arm, has some really uh, slick looks to it, nice bends, good um, capabilities for different tanks. I quite like it. And then that's not your only option because if I take that piece off and we get this piece and I think this piece mounts that way. I'm fairly sure it does. Let's screw it in and see how we go. All right, so once you've screwed uh, this bracket on uh, onto the back, you simply take uh, this little grommet section from the cable and whoa, you don't drop it. You uh, feed that up through the bottom, which is a little tricky, I must admit. There we go. And uh, you screw the cable top onto there. I apologize if I'm missing this on camera. It is a touch fiddly to try and hold up for the camera. That gives you the ability to adjust that on there where you need. Let me see if I can adjust it a little bit to a better spot and you can uh, mount your lights by the cable there. These kits are all included uh, in the pack, so there are no additional costs for these mounting options. Personally, I'm, I don't use the cables to mount the lights. I, I like to use the arm off the back. Um, so I'm gonna switch it back over to that and fit it up on the tank and show you the connectivity. All right, so here you can see the uh, Aquanest M8 running, and you can see we've got this uh, nice little uh, display. It's got uh, some options here. You can escape or go in the menu, so you can press those buttons. Power on, off, you can change the brightness. Um, demo all of your Wi-Fi controls. Everything that can be done through the app can be done here, which is um, really handy. But uh, that being said, I'm not gonna use it, but it is handy to see uh, the status. So currently it thinks it's 6.52 a.m., which is uh, not correct, but that's fine. Uh, that's because it's just been taken off the tank and put back on and whatnot. But uh, you can see uh, the mounting arm. Let's get the camera to turn around a little bit. You can see it's really pretty slick. The cable runs along here, comes in through the hole and goes down. I've just uh, moved the kettle out of the way just to give you an idea. Now, the tank is also really just, you can see there, it's on timer one to two. So it's uh, literally just starting to warm up. Um, so the lights are uh, nowhere near at their full power yet. In fact, they're probably at about 5% strength and uh, they're already lighting the tank up pretty well. But uh, let's get into the app and I'll show you what we can do with uh, the controls from there. All right, so we've got the uh, Aquanest Aqua Plus M8 running, and uh, I'm just gonna jump into, and what I might do is I'll screen record this at the same time so you can see both in real life and also on my uh, phone. So we've got this app here called the Aquanest app. We jump into that, and uh, I'm just gonna go back home if I can. Right, so what you get is you get, you connect your Wi-Fi up, 
and you set that you want it to go to STA. That allows you to control multiple lights at the same time. So I've connected this Aquinas BA21 and you can do that by scanning the uh, quick read code on it or uh, doing a little Wi-Fi scan for it. As soon as I click the tick there, that says I want to control that light and then I go connect. I'm now connected to this uh, light and it's already going to update the time for me because um, I can hit sync and that's going to update the time on the, uh, on the light because as you note before it was reading a couple of hours early. So that's now been synced and you can see the light has uh, updated due to that. Now, there's <laughs> just work notifications coming through. What I can also do here and I think it's a really good test of the light is jump into manual and you can see here that I can change instantly each of the different uh, channels. Now this light has six different channels of color. So starting with the bottom one, we've got channel six, which is clearly red. If I'll turn that up, we get just the red light and it's a lot of red light. You would probably never run that at 100% red unless you wanted to use this as a refugium light. Put that down. Channel five, if I move that up, is green. And you can see again, we've got a lot of green. That's only coming out of one diode, but it's a lot of green. So we're gonna turn that down. And you'll also notice you get a live uh, spectrum reading up the top to show you this, the color or spectrum you've selected. Channel four is our violet. And you can see that gives a beautiful, uh, really low in the uh, spectrum, 380s up to 480s. Uh, really nice purple light there. Turn that down. Three is our cool blue. Um, it's fairly royal blue, I'm gonna be honest. Um, for a cool blue anyway. I'm gonna turn that down, come up. This is our royal blue. It's gonna do a quick check to compare the royal blue to the cool blue. Yeah, there's a difference there. Okay. And finally, we've got our white spectrum. And this is, I wouldn't, it looks fairly warm there, but the uh, spectrum out of the light is uh, fairly, fairly white. So I'm just gonna put most of the common channels right up and put a little bit of green, a little bit of blue. That's the sort of uh, spectrum I'd expect you to be running at full intensity on this light. 100% on channels one, two, three, four, and then uh, around 25, maybe even a bit less. Maybe we come back to about 10% uh, on the uh, green and, uh, oops, green and red. And that's a pretty good looking spectrum. Now, you can also uh, set, uh, that was in the manual, of course, you can set the schedule. Now you can do that. You can set uh, your schedule in here. You can pick, uh, I think there's up to 24 points you can add. Um, so you can build your different spectrum throughout the day. All right, so the next thing we can do is we can jump into uh, schedule and you can see your schedule here for the day. And we've got uh, points at 6.30, 7, 8, 9, 11.30, 1.30, 4, 6, 7. Um, one thing you should, I should point out is that uh, you need to put all channels to zero if you want it to uh, completely switch off. You can see here I've left uh, the top channel three at uh, five, which is 5% um, intensity. Um, to give a bit of a moonlight effect. The light's just going through. I did select just a second ago to give us a uh, preview or review, sorry, and it's just going through the range now. Um, but yeah, you're completely able to jump into these and change the spectrum at any one of these points in time and it'll do that. All right, let's jump back out here. You can also, if you're not keen, and I did say that this light is really for the people that are going hardcore into setting their schedule, but you can also set a predefined setting. So if you've got an LPS tank, got an SPS tank, or you want to set your own, you've got some predefined timers in there. So I'm going to go to LPS and just have a look at the schedule there. You can see it gives you, and if you wanted to, you could adjust that. But uh, you've got some predefined schedules in there, which is really cool. Uh, what else have we got? I mean, you can switch the light on and off if you wanted to do that. <laughs> Comes back on. And of course, you've got uh, your lightning control. So let's, uh, let's switch the lightning on now and see what happens. Um, it will take a second and then she'll start flashing. Looks like it's going to just dim and then we get some lightning. This effect looks a lot better with multiple lights running, but it's still pretty cool. And it's one of those uh, little party effects that you might do when you got your friends over just to show them that uh, your tank's more lifelike than they might imagine. So I'm just gonna switch the run now off. The lights will come back up. You can set uh, your clouds in here. So you can say how strong you want the clouds to be, when you want them to run, et cetera, et cetera. All of these options. This is all pretty nifty stuff. And like I said, we can also connect up multiple lights. They don't even have to be on the same tank. You can run the same schedule across them all. Uh, we've got different uh, settings here. One thing I will point out, and I um, have given the feedback to the uh, NV Aqua team, is uh, in the schedule, I had trouble if I just say I wanted to change this final step from seven o'clock, if I click on the time, I can't actually see the time there. When I scroll up and down, I can feel it changing. And you see now it's changed to 6.30, but I don't actually see it on uh, screen there. Not a huge deal because I still can get to the setting I want. It just takes a little bit more fiddling around. 
But the other thing I can do is I can just go and select LPS and go back into my schedule and we're back to seven o'clock. I think that probably covers most of the app. Um, there's probably not a lot much else I could talk about there. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to pop it in the comment section down below, but uh, let's jump back out into the lounge room and wrap this video up. All right, guys, it's time to wrap this review up. And um, whilst I recognize that I haven't gone through details of how much you made my coral grow and the colors are brought out of my corals because it's one of those things that's really difficult to give authenticity on. I can tell you that I ran this light on my main display for two weeks. And whilst I'm not gonna tell you it changed the world in colors or growth, because let's be honest, not much happens in two weeks. I definitely saw no degradation. Um, probably the only difference I saw was that it didn't quite have the same amount of shimmer as my Kessel A360Xs on that tank. Um, in fairness, I only had it up one end because I only had one of these lights to work with, but um, it absolutely held its own and uh, the controllability was fine. It worked really well. I also ran it on my soft coral tank for a week and um, if anything, um, in fairness on that tank, it runs a DIY blue and white LED light, so it's nothing crazy. Um, if anything, it did actually bring the colors out on my beautiful frosted rose bubble tips a little bit further. Um, so I absolutely appreciate that. And I'm gonna see if I can work out how to fit some of these into the hood of my Red Sea Max because um, probably one would probably be enough, but I might run two at half strength just to keep our temperatures down and get better spread because the lights are quite close to the, because it's a hooded tank, the light is quite close to the water surface. So if I only had one in the middle, I might get shading on the outside. If I could mount it up higher, no problems, but that tank being on the kitchen bench, I quite like to have the hood closed. Um, I can tell you some of the specs. This runs Cree LEDs. It's got, um, so it's a 94 watt LED light. It's got seven different spectrums of LEDs. It's got 22 lights. It's got six different light channels. Channel one, we've got white at five watt chips. Channel two, we've got royal blue at five watt chips. Channel three is a deep blue and a blue at three watt and five watts. Channel four is UV and violet at three watts a piece. Green is uh, three watts and red is two watts. The light has a free app. Uh, you can download it. It works with iOS and Android. Um, but the most important thing is they are cheap. These lights, like I said at the moment, they are half price up until Christmas. If you want to take advantage of that and pick up this light with a hanging kit at 150 bucks, jump on nvaqua.com.au. Neil's there is selling these very, very cheap and he's got a whole range of other lights for both freshwater and marine. So check out the full range, but these are the ones that we're running the deal on at the moment. Jump on there, make sure you saw it on Parker's Reefs. Um, if you have any other questions for the light, be sure to hit me up. Um, pop it in the comment section down below. Oh, one last thing I nearly forgot. We are giving away this light. It's been very lightly used. I've been running it for about six weeks on different tanks, but I've taken very good care of it. So it's as good as new and I've done my best to box it back up the way it came from the factory. To win this light, all you need to be is an Australian resident. So I need to be able to post this somewhere in Australia and also because I've got an Australian power supply. I need you to comment on YouTube, not on any of your Facebook or other social media pages. Comment on the YouTube of this video on what tank you would put this light above. That's all I ask. Get your comments down below. I'll give it a week and then I'll draw the winner of this light. You'll get the light before Christmas and um, just call me Santa. We'll call it a day. Nearly forgot. I should cover some cons of this light. Um, I've gone over the pros, so I'm not gonna bore you with more pros. I only really had one con, which has been worked on, and the other one, which I don't know if it's a really a con. We'll start with the first con, which was, which was a serious one, but uh, the team were working through it, and that was the uh, changing the time in the schedule. I've been working with Niels and the uh, Aquanest team to see if we can't address that. It appears to be just on my version of iOS, uh, because on other iOS devices it's working fine, but hey, I did have trouble selecting time, and it, it still works, absolutely works. It's just a little bit fiddly trying to find the time when you can't see it on screen. No big deal, and especially if you've got um, other iOS or Android devices that you can set it up on the app. To be honest, once you set the time, you tend not to play with it all that much anyway, but hey, full disclosure, cons were their cons. Secondly, um, and I don't know, this is a flip side one. It doesn't have the same shimmer as a Kessel because it's not the uh, central high density matrix chip. I love the Kessel shimmer. That's just me. <laughs> well, it's not just me. Other people love the Kessel Shimmer too, but if you're not big into the Kessel Shimmer, you don't want to go that dense matrix chip. You want to have the uh, individual LED clusters with some reflectors on there. This is the light for you. Anyway, guys, that's all the cons I've got. The rest of the features on this light were really good. I'm keen to um, see who wins this light and see how it progresses on their tank. So uh, thanks for watching. Till next time. Thanks, guys. See you then.